Oh, for real? Oh, yeah. So I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't wear a ring. The Bible speaks against. Uh, talk about the chain. You'll find all that that you that you're covering up. <laughs> but you'll find all that in the uh, in the third chapter of the book of Isaiah. You'll find that in the second chapter of the. So book wedding of rings, wedding bands, and all that just. All that is for show. Wow. You know, it, they, they often many often talk about the scripture of the uh, prodigal son. How when he came back, uh, he received a reward. He received a ring. Or how when Joseph, the son of Jacob, became a governor, he was given a ring and he became a mighty governor down in Egypt. Well, a ring back then was a symbol of power, a symbol of authority. The power we have now is not on our finger, but the power that's given to us, which is God people, is in our heart. For we the power trusted. is the Holy Spirit. We for have the trusted book, Oh, yes. For the book says, tarry or wait until you be endued with power from on high. So I wouldn't want something that's on my finger that I can lose, but I'd rather have something that's in my heart that's placed there by God himself. If a person, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're enjoying this. I, I could have this guy all day and all night. If a person wanted to get into preaching mm -hmm. and become a preacher, what advice would you give them? That it takes God to make a preacher. It's like a spirit, like it's just got to hit you? God makes a preacher according to what's written in the scriptures, wherein a lot of church organizations have certain criteria you have to meet. Most time, none of those criteria have to do anything with the Bible. Because in most churches, you can have three wives and still get ordained to preach it. You can have two wives and get ordained to preach it. You can live with the woman that ain't your wife and get ordained to preach it. You can be making babies in the church and get ordained to preach it. Most time, when a man get ordained a preacher in these church organizations today, if he a good contributor, right. that's the most criteria. If you're going to be a preacher according to the scriptures and meet up to the qualifications and the expectation of scriptures, Third chapter, First Timothy, itemize the qualifications of an elder, which is a bishop, and the qualifications of a deacon. The first chapter of the book of Titus, itemize the qualifications of an elder. These things are not even taught in churches. So, so, so go back. So become a deacon and an elder. Explain that again. Your qualifications of being a deacon is itemized in First Timothy, the third chapter, of the qualifications you got to have before you're ordained. The same chapter, as well as the first chapter of the book of Titus, itemize the qualifications that a man must have before he's ordained an elder. Hmm. But most of these men who are ordained are never taken to the Bible and said, okay, this is what you got to meet before you're ordained. Most time, they may get an exam from the organization, a written test or a verbal test, ask a few questions. And if you can pass that test, they ordain you. Gosh, man. It's the most sloppiest, trashiest thing. And this is why a lot of men in the pulpit, they're so weak. They're scripturally careless. They are not strict. They are not stern. They have no standard. They go from left to right. And whatever the government say, they bow to it. The government make them dance. That's why a lot of churches, they have governmental programs. They don't speak against the government. Hmm. They patronize every rotten thing the government has. Do many uh, politicians come to you for endorsements? No, none of them do. Because I tell politicians straight up. Uh, um, politicians straight up. I don't endorse what you don't believe. But you don't, if you don't believe what's in that book, I don't endorse you. I won't sell out for a politician. Hmm. So politicians are not allowed in none of the pulpits of the first churches of our Lord Jesus Christ world over unless you want to have something to say like, okay, I enjoyed service and thank you for having me. But they'll put a little um, sales pitch out there that you're running for office. No, we don't play that. So what do you say to a guy like Reverend Sharpton um, who ran for office and is one of our black leaders? Sharpton is not a preacher. No, Sharpton is not a preacher. Sharpton is consider himself a black activist who bears the title Reverend. And by the way, if you knew the Bible, no preacher would be called Reverend. The only one that's called reverend in the book and can get away with it is God. Oh, For the book plainly oh, states, oh, holy oh, 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 and reverence is his name. Oh, oh, oh. Everyone's called a reverend. Mm -hmm. Everyone that's lied to. Huh. I'm not Reverend Geno Jennings. I'm either Minister Geno Jennings or Brother Geno Jennings or Pastor Geno Jennings. You don't have Reverend Paul. You don't have Reverend James. You don't have Reverend Peter and Reverend John and Reverend Bartholomew. No. Huh. Only one that's called Reverend in the entire Bible is God. Nobody else. Well, I learned something today. No one else. Wow. Because there's no one else fit to be called Reverend other than God. Gosh. 
This is my dude, man. <laughs> Anything in closing, um, brother? Well, pastor? brother, listen, it's always a pleasure to be here, and, and you don't. But you can't take six years there, man. <laughs> I look forward. God be our. Are help. you going to come back to Delaware? You're going to open the place in Delaware. I look forward to it. Like uh, earlier, we was we was holding service in the Holiday Inn. Right. Uh, then the Lord blesses with our new international campus. We moved from Frankfurt Avenue, which was 18,000 square feet, and the Lord gave us an entire block, 200,000 square feet. Wow. Where our main auditorium can hold anywhere from 2,700 to close to 3,000 people. We get ready to dedicate our lower auditorium that hold uh, maybe 12 to 1,500 people. That will be dedicated on January the 2nd. Could you make sure you invite your brother? Oh, you invited my brother.